with Cryo Man. He is creating incredible things at many different DJs, awesome shows, and he is a DJ himself. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now? Right now we're here in uh, Toronto with uh, Steve Aoki, Borgo, Waka Flocka, and we're basically, um, my whole team got like pulled into uh, the part of this new sort of neon future creative edge that Steve Aoki is doing right now. It's like all LED CO2 based like massive products and sort of like allowing Steve to integrate with the audience on a whole new level, you know? Like if you check out, he has this neon headdress, these giant claws that like shoot CO2 and stuff. And then we have the robots, which is called Hex 3D, which is a new one I just designed. This is like the next generation of Cryo Man, which obviously a lot of people know about. They're these two giant robots that are on stage and they sort of like, in the middle of a track, they just break into pieces like Transformers and walk out into the crowd and blast like 40 foot jets of CO2 and stuff. So how did you come up with a theory to come up with, like, how did this creative side of those robots come into play? I mean, it was just an evolution of like an idea that I had. Like, I mean, I was in Ibiza when I was younger. I was just really like wasted one night with a couple of friends and we just had the idea and I just didn't know how to sort of like apply it to what I was doing because it was way before its time. It was like seven or eight years ago. But then slowly as everything progressed, it came into light and like, you know, now you'll see it tonight. It's, it's just something on a whole nother level. So is there other robots and other creations that you're doing elsewhere aside from Steve Aoki show? No, right right now, I mean, have, dude, he's got, he's got us on a 32-day, six-week tour. There's nothing else we can do. You know, and I can't roll this shit out every week. Like, I'm, this is one of the, my greatest creations, you know, and that, my participation with Steve is one thing, you know. I have my whole crew working on this show with Steve, but then I'm back in the studio right now with my whole team, working on my productions, DJing myself, working on my own live tour. Like, I just played Park City in Utah, where they did the Sundance Film Festival two days ago. I flew here to come and check out with the crew and see what's up, you know. That was amazing. Sold out show, crowd surfing, all that kind of garbage. It was funny. Yeah, that's amazing. So how did you get, so how's your production going anyways? Like with your new tracks, everything else? Where, what direction do you move in? Um, I mean, right now we're just trying to sort of um, just experiment with everything. Like I, I do dabble a lot with very, very sort of like pop and commercial stuff because I was working a lot with David Guetta in the past. Now, you know, I do have some collaborations coming up with Akon and I'm working with uh, Paris right now on a remix for Good Time. I also have um, a track coming up with um, a good friend of mine, DJ Stella, which we're doing a track with CC Penniston, which is interesting. Um, I do have a track that I released in August called Crab Fucker that's out on Deport as well. So, yeah, it's it's it got, it got a bit difficult trying to play it on the radio because we had to take Fucker out. So it's like, too many beeps. Yeah, no. The beep has to turn into like a beat. No, we were trying to figure out what we can change the word like Fucker to, and it didn't kind of work out. So my publicist was mad at me. She's, yeah, she's just like, stop saying fuck so much. I was like, I hang around with Steve Oakley and Wolverine. How did we get a number one with that kind of talk? I don't know. I don't know, everybody else seems to be getting them saying the word fuck all the time. But, um, the radio means nothing these days. <laughs> oh, don't say that, don't say that. I, lo I love the guys on the radio. Radio is like old school, it's good fun. It is old school, but you know, you can blow up without it. And you're doing incredible. I'm very proud of the work you're doing. I'm excited to see what you have. I'm sure everyone else is as well. So why don't you give us your social media and some info so they can look up on you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, follow us. Uh on Facebook at um, facebook.com Cryoman Official. Um, Twitter is at Cryoman and then Instagram is Cryoman the Robot. Very different, but it's, um, you can all find, just type in Cryoman and you can find us if you really want it. There's only one of a kind, so there you go. All right guys, thank you very much, appreciate it.